Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, wake up! It is time for Brisbane Best Beers, Bands, Bars, and Big Beers broadcast. Brought to you by our sponsor, Green Beacon Brewery, the greatest Brisbane brewery in town. And my man that's playing right now is kind of fitting, kind of crisis. That's who you're listening to, guys. They're playing at the Trippin' on the 6th of August. 6th of August, down in the trip, and this song is called Wishing Wells, and we are sort of wishing right now that this climate crisis doesn't reach Queensland. Victoria's going through hell, but um, it could be wishful thinking that we're not we're not due for another lockdown. We may not see the chandeliers singing, swinging, the dancing, the yahoos that we were hoping for. So what you're saying, Mike, is we might get another wave, a second wave. We could, we could well do. The Triffid's a great spot to go see this way. While the merriment is still on, it's a World War II hangar down there in Newstead. A beautiful offering from Brisbane's bet, some of Brisbane's most cultural hotspots. Take and a date down there, make a night of it. And that again, ladies and gentlemen, is the 6th of August, 8 p.m., the Triffid. Now, Mick, just give us give a little shout out to our show sponsor today. <clears throat> well, I'd love to thank Green Beacon, Ed from the best brewery in town, Brew Beacon, has sponsored today's show. And the, the highlighted beer is the Windjammer, which happens to be our favourite beer, has been for years. You'll have to forgive us if we if we uh, review this one for weeks on end. Yeah, it's just it's just one of those beautiful, beautiful beers. And um, if you can just pull one out for me. It, if I could describe it myself, it's a punchy, punchy uh, flavour profile. But in the words of the Great Green Beacon, it's an Indian pale ale, full bodied and bold, firm, hoppy bitterness. Beautiful. Crack me one with your Jimbo. Yes, indeed. So we're just going to, we know these beers are all too well, but we're just going to review it here for those that could be new to the scene, haven't, haven't been down to Green Beacon. I haven't tried one of these beautiful wind jammers, or a, as they like to call them down there, a fucking jammer. Ah. You can't get much better than that on a Sunday afternoon. Wrapping up the weekend, uh, blowing out the cobwebs, the hair of the dog. Now, that's an IPA, that's a full, as far as IPAs go, that's a full bodied IPA too. So IPA isn't for everyone, but if you do if you do like a strong IPA, um, wind jammer, we've been drinking IPAs all since since we could drink beer, so um, get around them. Get around them. And uh, if you want to experience the wind jammer, Ed sorted out a code. Uh, go online, go on the Green Beacon website and go to uh, and then any orders over thirty dollars, you'll get a ten percent discount if you use the code Iron Drake. That's a ten percent discount if you use the code Iron Drake on the online store, and it's free delivery, by the way, Nick. How could you? How could you pass that up? I don't know. Some people are crazy. Free six pack to the door, ten percent off. So the tone of this today, because it's about big biz as well. There's the bands, there's the beers, there's the cultural relics of Brisbane that we love so much. But at the end of the day, this is a business podcast. And um, I just wanted to set the tone. Set the tone. Let's, let's get into, let's take, let's get into the learnings of today. Yeah, I just, I just want to, I just want to give everyone an insight into where our mindset is right now. So get, let me have one more sip. Take it away, Jimmy. Now... This is a piece of poetry by one of my favourite poets from a band by the name of Parkway Drive. Uh, this, this, is a, this is a piece of art by Winston McCall. So this one really resonated with you. <clears throat> setting the tone. For setting the, the tone, setting the tone. I spoke <clears throat> a vow today and asked if God would come and play. I've dug a shallow hole for him to sleep But I swear he just won't answer me. I call on out, is he afraid? I'll bury him down with the ones he keeps. And if the devil is listening, I'll come for him as well. If I suspect he has had that hand to play. 
And if I see his face in town, there's room for two down underground. Nothing's gonna stop me until I'm done! Until I'm done! Until I'm done! Until I'm done! Until I am done! So, there's the tone for the podcast today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for driving that point home, my dear brother, because that's what the whole thing is. Wake up! It's until you're done, and I, I want to sort of expand on that. I'd like to read a, one of my favourite quotes, um, which sort of brings that full circle and, and um, adds a bit of spice to it. <clears throat> if your ambition demands you walk through hell, Walk like you own the place. Now, just before to you give go, you an yeah, understanding... Show them the picture, you have to see the picture. To give you an understanding of where we're going with that, this is sort of the imagery you'd have to imagine and the mindset that goes along with a quote like that. Now, some people might want to know why we're going with this tone and the tone is until I'm done or until I'm finished, I'm going to push that... I'm going to push that cart over the line. Well, what I've noticed, you and I both have a pretty analytical background. We, we've studied mathematics and engineering. And that makes you very analytical. It makes you want to come up with the perfect plan. But what it doesn't remind you of is the grit and determination. I just want to use a few words. And none of them have anything to do with perfection. None of them have anything to do with, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have the best plan or I'm going to overthink it. There's no, you don't use words like, I'm overthinking myself to success. The word analysis comes to life, yeah. to mind. Just on that one, I don't think you're... We're sort of steering clear of paralysis by analysis. Um, we're talking about the mindset to go above and beyond plow. It's a, it's a plow through mentality. And um, I'm just going to go through a few words. And this, these words, I've got them on my wall. I read them every day. I use them as a bit of positive reinforcement. Now the words are... Conviction, domination, relentless, pride, intensity, perspective, perseverance. That was actually good. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, with this comes, I I feel a lot of the time we're analysing things because we don't want to embarrass ourselves. And I think... Self-deprecation is something that the human nature has 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 a tough time conceptualizing what the, uh, self-deprecation actually means. People think making a fool of yourself is self-deprecating. You're only going to be able to plow through and become a better version of yourself by making failures, making a fool of yourself. And it's this very perspective that stops people um, putting themselves out there, taking the risk, jumping off a cliff. Um, they believe that these, these uncertain strivings for success are self-deprecating, but really the self-deprecating activity is exactly what you're thinking, not doing that. It's the self-judgment. It chokes you. It puts a um, filter on what you say. Hmm. And the, the, I've got a few terms that I've really been thinking about lately. Tacit approval. Hmm. Not saying what you think. Hmm. Not thinking something and then it just comes out of your mouth. Hmm. And I just think you have to be disagreeable. Hmm. You can't just go with the pack. Hmm. You have to be firm with your convictions. You have to be dominant. Dominant. And the other... Yeah, so tacit approval. How often do you sit in a group scenario, listen to a conversation, some blokes talking about a topic you know full well, you know it, you know the topic in, de- in depth enough to add to it, but you just let them get away with a bunch of bullshit because you think, you look around the room, ah, oh, he accepted it, he accepted it, ah, who am I to pull him up? Yeah. Who am I to, to um, put a, 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 spanner, in the a works. spanner in the works, change the flow of the conversation? Agreeableness is something I've really had to work on in my life. I sort of think, oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be too much effort. Why would I bother? It's it's a standard. It's a standard. You raise set. your standards. Raise your standards. Raise your standards. Don't be afraid of pulling people up. 
they're talking bullshit. If you know better, step up and step in because it could it could be it could be in a serious um, environment where this is applied. Someone's in trouble. Someone's being harassed. You want to be aggressively dominant and able to make a very um, a very quick decision to go against someone's someone's uh, concepts, ideas, or actions that you disagree with. And why is this? And you, people might wonder why is this a good tool? Well, in business, it's essential because people try not to pay you. People try to go around the contract. People try to have a go. And you have to pull them up straight away. <clears throat> Just like that. I'll give you a good example in commercial cleaning. You got a scope of works. I call it scope creep. Um, you, have, you come to an agreement, there's a certain price paid. Um, the, you've got in writing, and it's important you have in writing in fine detail exactly what you're delivering for, your, for the money you're being paid. Because if that isn't detailed enough, scope creep will come in. You'll start to be asked to do extra activities further than the scope that was agreed upon in, in writing, if you're smart. Now this scope creep can uh, send you broke, and often you see it coming and you let it go because you're trying to be agreeable with your customer. Customer's always right. Which is wrong. bullshit. Dead wrong. Dead wrong. Customer is not always right. There's a standard. Set the standard and people will people will come along for the ride if you have your own standards. And that's the other thing, it's like everything in life. You should be going for a win-win. Don't go for a win-lose where you're losing. Of course you have to have a good product, of course you have to deliver on your promises. But if you are delivering on your promises and you do have a good product, then, then that's your responsibility. You don't then let your guard down, you don't then like drop your standards and go, yeah, okay, I'll do whatever you say. No, it's a win-win or nothing. Now, what does it all come down to at the end of the day? Self-esteem. Well, self-esteem. Yeah, actually, action, but self-esteem. You won't take action because you have no self-esteem. Absolutely. Action is the outcome yeah. of self-esteem. And let's take this podcast, for example. This is our first episode. We did a sound check with James Callishaw. Shout out to James from Catalysis Group. He uh, talked with us about systems, processes, and, um, and managing a team the other day. He's from the, a banking background and... He, he really helps businesses systemize themselves when they're looking to expand and, and push past the small business mindset. Um, so take this podcast, for example. We've got the old mics of Facebook Marketplace holding these bastards, some shitty old $30 headsets and a phone camera. It's about... I don't, I don't believe there's any lack of quality in this production. It's about having a crack. We're having a good crack. And in the words of any good soldier, it's about having a dig. Go on, have a dig. Have a dig because time costs lives. Move hard, move with purpose. It's important. And so I just wanna, I just wanna wrap this one up, Mike, and I just wanna drive home. Don't overanalyze, don't judge yourself. Jump off the cliff, skin your knees, go, grow, grow a bit of grit, a bit of determination, have some conviction, and build that self-esteem. Build that self-esteem. It's not too late. You can pull your socks up at any point in your life, whether you've been a had a privileged background or come from nothing. You can always stop and move. Move with purpose in an opposite direction if need be, or tweak it to to um, build that integrity and conviction that required, that is required to have self-esteem. And I just want to give everyone a few action steps. Raise Beautiful. your standards. Go to the gym, raise your standards. And the reason I sell, tell you to have, go to the gym is because if you go to the gym each morning, you've had a victory. You've said, no, <clears throat> I don't feel like it, I'm going. That's the same muscle that it takes to say, no, I don't agree. Bloody well pay me now. It's the same thing. <clears throat> you gotta get that muscle going. Exactly, Jimbo, and it sounds funny to say this, but for those that do work out, for those do, that do get up early to beat the day before it starts, you know what I'm saying when I say, 
Look at all these pussies around here. They probably rolled out of bed, farted at about 8.30. I've already beaten the day. I've squatted out. I've done a couple of chin-ups. And then I'm coming in. I'm going to war. I'm by going to war. By the time... By the time the average man's... And, and it's a case study. You see all these uh, apartment buildings. You see the lights starting to flick on around 8 o'clock in the morning. It's a, it's a case study of w what our society's become. It's fucking disgusting, I'd have to say. Exactly. Separate yourself. Raise your standards. Raise your bloody well standards. Mm. Now, just to end, I want to I want to shout out to Ed from Green Beacon. And um, if you want to try this amazing beer, this full-bodied IPA, go onto the Green Beacon website, use the Iron Drake code word, Iron Drake, get a 10% discount on all orders over $30. That's use the code Iron Drake, get a 10% discount on all orders over $30. Support our local breweries, especially the best, Green Beacon. They've been they've been going hard through these times. They've, we met James, you met Ed the other day. He's got still got a spring in his step. Aussie He's an Aussie battler. Absolute legend. Absolute legend. I can't wait to meet him. Get around him. Thanks guys. Over to you. <laughs>